Happy New Year guys and I hope you all had a good Christmas. Um, I'm currently going to be fishing over, I'm going to do a quick session over Boot Pit because uh, the lakes where I've been fishing I've fancied just a little bit of a change at the moment and uh, I haven't been posting up many videos because of the, the, the videos what I've been making I'm thinking if I start gathering them up and then I can release them all sort of springtime so then that gives me a chance to get some more recording in and uh, other bits like that. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna do a quick session over Boot Pit. Um, I haven't been since probably about probably about mid-December. I think it must have been. Yeah, about mid-December, because uh, it's been quite busy. Because uh, if you'll follow me on Facebook, or if you go on Valley Carpers, um, I proposed to my missus the other day, so just before Christmas. So it's been, uh, I've been trying to sort all that out, trying to keep it all hush hush and stuff and trying to sort other bits out like the kids presents and that so yeah it's yeah it's been busy and i just haven't been able to get out but uh, i'm going to do a quick session on here i know it's not really much and it, 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 it well it's, it's a good lake I, i'm not today i'm not going to go for the big fish i'm just going to go for just the fun really i just want to get my rod bent try and get myself back into it again and then i can start fishing the other lakes and try and do a bit of filming here and there for you guys during the winter. But um, yeah, so what I'm going to do now, as you can see, I'm in my car. It's just finished, well, it's just stopped raining, but it looks like another grey cloud's coming over again. So what I'm going to do is go and have a quick walk around the lake, see if I can see anything, try and decide where I'm going to fish. And uh, yeah, then I'm going to do the night on it. And also, if any of you are wondering why you're going to do the night on it, you can't use a bivy or a brolly. Actually, you can. Because uh, where I'm a bailiff on here, John is apparently the consortium have um, decided to trial it, and that is to see if, like, how it goes if um, people can do night fishing on there October to March, because obviously the, the, it, it goes really quiet on this complex, and uh, at the moment there's only one person fishing, so I'm going to go around to him, have a chat with him on the, he's fishing on railway, I'll have a chat with him and uh, do a quick rotor, which is just one person, but I've got to do it. And then, uh, yeah, I'm gonna crack on. So before I get loads of messages going, you shouldn't be doing nights on boot pit. You can, or you can if you've just got a normal brolly, but I'm actually gonna be using a brolly system because you're allowed to do it between the months of October and March. But that's not gonna be forever. It's only a trial, so it depends how it goes this year. All right, guys, so uh, yeah, I'll speak to you soon. All right, guys, uh, I had a quick walk around the lake. Um, decided to fish up the far end. That's the end furthest away from the car park. Cause it seems like it's a lot more quiet there because the boat was fishing bloody hell. You can probably hear all the house stands going down. Well, that's why I've had to sit in this car again because I was standing outside trying to get all the steer ready. And mate, when it hits you, it actually hurts. But, uh, oh, I'm just getting phone call. But yeah, no, um, yeah, I'm going to fish up the far end and, uh, cause, uh, it looks like there's, there could be a few fish up there. They don't look decent, they don't look a good size, but like I said, I'm only here for the fun. I just want to get my rod spent. So, um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay away from the bloke that's fishing up this end, because it's only fair, like, I don't really want to be fishing on top of him, I don't really want him fishing on top of me, so, yeah. But um, I'm going to wait for this rain to stop, all these house stones, and then, uh, then I can go and get ready, get cast out and all that. So, uh, yeah, speak to you soon. Uh, finally got over here, but uh, it was a struggle. Because uh, I'll tell you what, this mat, this rain, what we've been getting recently, uh, it is completely made the ground completely soft. It is it's so hard to barrel through. And uh, not being funny, just saying, it's not hard, but it isn't easy to get around to here. It's, it's mainly flat, but it's just so much mud. It's just the wheels getting stuck, and not being funny, the barrel, what I've got, the, the Fat Boy Max, or this fat boy prestige cart port or something or fat wheel it's it's not really made for going through thick mud really it's i, I got it because i liked it i didn't really think about how i was going to use it and if it was going to be any good to, to use in this sort of conditions but uh yeah if, if you're going to get a cart port get the, the slim wheel and the non-puncher one because uh it makes it so much easier but anyway yeah, so basically, this is where I've set up. Sorry if you can't really hear me that well. It's just that it's hacking it down at the moment. I'm having to sit over here because the 
the water level is so close, I'm thinking that if it does come up, at least I'll be able to get away from it a bit. Do you know what I mean? So, and it won't be like last year when I was fishing on another lake and I hadn't ended up having to get up during the night and move because it just completely flooded me out. But um, yeah, it's I've got I've got bait. Like, I've just flicked them out. I've got uh, one on a pop up, a white pop up, which I've sort of sort of cut into sort of like a dumbbell shape to make it smaller. So I'm just looking for a couple of bites first of all. So yeah, I've, I've made it slightly smaller in a dumbbell shape and that is slow sinking or critically balanced. And that is in around that area just there. And then there's a channel what just runs down to the left here. Now, I'm not too sure, but I know that this is definitely one of the, sp uh, one of the places where they pass through. So I'm having a shout because it is hacking it down now. It's, it is absolutely ridiculous. But um, I've got, I've spread out a lot of uh, uh, pre, uh, pre soaked maize and stuff like that, all, all particles really, across this channel just here. And I've got um, a, what's it called, a, a plastic sweet corn on it with a bit of tungsten putty to help it sink, sl uh, sink slowly. So that's over on that part there. And like I said, I will be changing it, but at the moment I just wanted to get the rods out, get set up because it, it is absolutely hammering it down and my gear is completely soaked. So I'm going to have to try and get things sorted first before I go ahead and do anything else but uh, yeah so it's it's a bit yeah I haven't really thought about where I was going to cast out I just literally chucked them out I've, I have checked I did chuck out that lead and I made sure that it was all clear and felt the donk so I know that all the spots are clear but I'm having to fish my rod tips up quite high because right in front of me there's a snag which I can't actually reach but it's, uh, it's on the surface so I'm trying to get the line to sort of like just go over the top of it so and I'm fishing tight lines as well so hopefully I won't get caught up in that snake and if I do then I don't know <laughs> I'll have to figure something out I probably will take it out of the water once I go to recast again because if I get my landing net I can get my longer one and just try and extend it out a bit and try and pull it in so it isn't too much of a trouble too much trouble but at the moment if I just fish how I normally do with slack line it will just get caught up in there and there's no point me even fishing because it's just going to be dangerous so yeah but um yeah it seems like the rain's starting to slow down a bit now so I can start getting myself all sorted the sun's coming out a little bit you probably can't really see it on this camera but the sun is starting to come out so hopefully I'll, I'll be able to get myself sorted and hopefully have one on the bank before it gets too dark so it's raining now so I've got the rods back in or got one of them back in I will be bringing in the other one in a minute but um, I'm just going to show you what I'm using um, I'm basically just using a normal KD rig which is on uh, Fox Cortex it's £15 rig material uh, I've stripped it back literally probably about just over an inch from there to the hook so I've got just over an inch of um, uh, of uh, of um, strip material. Uh, I'm going to be fishing a maze and a fake maze or fake sweet corn on it. Reason for that is, is that I find that the maze isn't. It, it's not like sweet corn where it's bright. It's sort of a duller colour, and it, it probably don't make any difference. But to me, I'm colour blind, so I can see it. If I can see it, then the fish can see it. So I want something that's going to stand out because the the, the water is really murky because of all this rain. It's just stirred up all the bottom and all the obviously all the mud off the banks and all that have all gone into water and all that and it's just murked up all the water so I want baits that are going to stand out so the fish can see it. Look what I'm using is an SSSP Fox arm, Armour Point. Those ones just there. I know it's a bit big and it's size 6 but there are a lot of little fish in here where it's been stocked recently or a couple of years ago. There, there's still quite a few small fish in here so I want to try and keep away from them even though I don't, it don't really bother me what size they are. It's just, it would be nice to not be woken up every hour of the night just for three pound fish. It would be nice to have a, one a uh, bit bigger. So yeah, I'm going to be fishing that normal safety rig system or safety clip, I suppose, yeah, safety clip system. I'm going to be using a, I think it's two ounce lead. I would use bigger, but I don't really see the point in here because it's, it's so clear, it's such a clear 
it's, it's, well, it's, it's so clear at the bottom. I really want it to sort of just pick up and the fish can just go go with it. But I have got it literally, the rubber on it, I'm just going to literally have it just on it so it can come off nice and easy because I've, I've got loads of leads which I've just found in the cupboard over the last few days. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm still fishing on the GR60 or the GR60X as the main line. I've still, I've, really I should change it but I know it's such a good line. It's, it's done, me, it's been on here for since I went Red Hot Lakes in June and uh, I've had still quite a few fish on it and I know it's going strong so there's no point me no point in changing it or no point in fixing something if it ain't broken so yeah um, I'm not you I'm on one of them I'm going to be using a bit of lead core about four or five foot of lead core on this one I'm just going to have it straight through it's just going to be straight onto the main onto the main line with a bit with a few bits of a uh, tungsten putty dotted up the line just to keep it pinned on the bottom because it's so clear I don't know if you can see that I will I've, I have got one more up there but I like to use three I don't really like to use any more than that because otherwise you have to have too much of a drop and with here there's a lot of overhanging trees so if I've got too much of a drop on it when I go to cast out it's just going to get caught up every time so I'm using three maximum and uh, hopefully I can get it out there nicely and I'm also going to be using um, the Fox Rap Rapid system PVA system this I tell you what is it's unbelievable like it it's, makes it so easy like PVA like tying up PVA bags I could not stand it it annoyed me it, I used to get so frustrated I never really used them and uh, that was the reason why cause I couldn't tie them it, it just annoyed me but with this you literally put it in and then just lick around it job done I'll show you how to do it later on it is really simple and not being funny I'm not exactly the best at tying rigs uh, tying PVA bags so if I can do it with this then anyone can honestly um, I'm going to be putting two mil pellets and one mil pellets. I know there's not really much difference, but I like to have a little bit of. Uh, it, it, well, it's there's not really much difference at all. But the one mil will obviously break down slightly quicker than the two mil pellets. Um, getting the kit is it comes all oh, it comes all prepared really. Basically, you get instructions how to do it, but I don't really ever read instructions. But basically, this is the most important part. This bit here. It's basically the part what squeezes this down enough so you can get the PVA bag over it and then it opens up as you pull it off so it keeps it all nice and tight but if you lose that then I'm not too sure what you can do I don't, I, I don't even know what size it is I don't know if you can maybe make some in yourself or, or not but if any of you know then please comment and let me know but uh, basically what you do is you just slip this over it does it is quite stiff because it is quite new but as time goes on as they get as you start using them more and more, they'll get weaker and weaker and it's a lot easier. Basically you just slip this over, let's just quickly do that. Slip that over like so. Like that. So it's just keeping it nice and tight. Then you get the PVA bag. Now I have just dropped this PVA bag on the floor so I'm not too sure if it's gonna be any good. Right. But now that's in there like that, I'm gonna pull this bit off basically it's going to keep it all nice and tight Let's just sort this out. All right, and there you have it now all you've got to do is just put your rig in there put your rig in there and start filling so basically what I'm going to do is just fill it up slightly just get it right into the corners I am only going to use one mil pellets on this one because really I'm only putting this out there just for a little bit of bait around the hook because I, I, I don't want to overfill them especially like or overfeed them especially now that it's winter and it's a lot colder so yeah I'm going to fill it up that much then I'm going to put my rig in there put my rig in like so Then I'm going to fill it up a little bit more. As you're filling it, you want to drop more and more in. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to put this, put the lead on, uh, like the lead basically in there, but not all the way, and just clip it up. So then it holds it in place. Like so. so I don't even have to touch the line, and it basically holds it in place. 
So as I'm filling, I'm going to be dropping more and more in. So I'm going to hold the, the hook length out slightly, or pull it out slightly, so that it's nice and tight. Make sure it's right in the corner, like so. And I'm going to fill it up a bit more. Now that's gone completely tight. Hey, what you'll find is, if you pull out the rig slightly, when you go to scoop it up, as you put it back, as you like lift it up, the, the, the pellets will pull all the line tight. It will, like basically how you can see just here, it's, it's hard to see really. But uh, you can see the line just, just there. It sort of pulled it all tight and the rig's just nicely almost in the corner. But it doesn't matter if it's com not completely in the corner, but you just know it's going to be fishing well. So basically, I'm going to keep doing this. Now that I've got it almost, well, I like to fill it up to probably about that, that sort of, but up to about there. So I'm going to keep filling it up and I'm going to drop the lead in as well. Now I'm going to drop the lead in, the easy part. Now what you do, you see, let's just hold this up. Now you've got the line out of the, out, out the top here. You've got it sitting all nicely inside. You just lip round it. Then give it a twist. And as you can see, the PVA is actually going down as I'm twisting. Now once, it's, once you've twisted it, you push it down. So. Now you're probably thinking, why has he got pellets coming out the top? The reason for that is, I like to just push it down with my finger inside. Let's just, let's just get that sorted. And as I'm doing that, I like to try and push it down with my finger, to be honest, because if you haven't got the hole inside and you have it sort of up to the actual, like, all completely tight around it, when you're pushing it down, it will end up splitting or you'll, you'll end up making it really loose. But with this, you can nicely push it down. Once you've done that, you're just pushing the corners, like so, like you'll probably do. And then... Make it make the corner wet. And then fold it. And do the same with the other side, like you can see. Also the other reason for uh, having the hole at the top is because it takes less time for the PVA to melt down. Because uh, in warmer weather, the PVA will melt down quite quick, but with this cold weather, it takes quite a while. So really, I want the water to get in there as quick as I can, and it doesn't mean that I have to make loads of holes in the sides of it and everything, especially considering that I've got only one but, uh, I've neaten it up a little bit more, because i only done it quickly for the camera, but um, yeah, I'm going to cast it out onto the, into the channel, and hopefully it might produce a fish. Morning. Um, last night I had six. They weren't big at all. Uh, I was just getting plagued by the small fish. Um, I think the biggest, I think the biggest was about probably about five, six pound. I've taken a photo of that one because that was the last one that I've had. But uh, it was, it, it was, I was just getting plagued by small fish. So in the end, I ended up bringing them both in and putting on bigger baits. Like with one of them, I put. Well, I haven't really put on a bigger bait, I've just added bait to it. So I've put on, instead of just one maize, one uh, plastic sweet corn, I've put on three maize and the plastic sweet corn. So try and sort of make it slight, uh, slightly too big for them, or try and make it a bit bigger so I don't keep getting plagued by them. The other one I've put on a 15 mil boilie, not cut down, just got, um, it's just literally got a bit of tungsten putty on it to, to help sink it to the bottom. Uh, and other than that, there's not really much going on. It, 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 I, it's hard for me to. I was going to go around and have a look to see if I can find any of the fish, 
but it is absolutely hammering it down. And at the moment it's calmed down a bit, that's why I'm doing a bit of videoing. But all morning and all last night it's just been proper chucking it down, I wasn't able to do anything. So, um, uh, right. still only the six fish I've had. It's now, what is it now? It's now half eleven. Not really much been going on, to be honest. It's, it's hard to say if they're up this end or not, because it's just, like I keep saying, it's just chucking it down, to be honest. And it's calmed down a bit more now. But no doubt it's going to pick up again, because there's a proper dark cloud coming over. So um, I've started putting some bits away, started packing up, because I, I would like to get back to the car before that cloud. Mate, I must admit, it is more for sort of children or for the disabled, because uh, up the other end by the car park, you'll find that there's a lot of swims which are sort of really kitted out for if people are disabled, so it's nice and easy for them to get to. But if you come up the other end of the lake, you, you get left alone and it's more for the angler. It's just that during the summer, summer months, you can't do nights on it, which isn't such a bad thing because not being funny, during the summer, during the day, you're gonna have so many fish out. It's, you, you wouldn't want to do the night. Like last night, I had six and obviously now it's slowed down, but to have six during the night, and that was me just literally just casting it out. I, I didn't bother putting it back on the spot. I just literally flicked them out because it was pissing it down in the rain. But for me to have that six, and I, I'm, I'm not saying I'm any good at, it, at fishing because I'm not. I'm just, I'm just like, you know, learning another guy along. But there's others who would come over here and they tear it apart. They would, but it'd all be small fish. Um, I've still got on the big baits. I haven't gone back to the smaller baits because I, I rather, if I, if I don't have anything, then fine. But if I was going to have something, I'd rather have it a little bit bigger. I know I've come over here for fun, but I had my fun last night. Now I'm going for something a bit bigger. So hopefully it might rip off any time, but I'm hoping to get home for about half 12. So I've got about an hour to pack up. So all right, finally all packed up. It was really hard. It, the whole time I was packing up, it was just torrential rain. But it started to stop, well, it stopped now. Right as I get the last bit into the motor, I, I wanted to see if I can get one of the bigger ones out for you lot and get on film. But at, le at least I got, well, I've got the photo of the first one. Yeah, it was the first one, which was sort of the average size what I was getting all night. And then the last one was the biggest one, which I've taken a photo of. So you'll see those throughout the film, or most probably earlier on in the film, or in the, uh, in the, uh, yeah, in the film. So, yeah, for now, that's really it. I will try and do some more filming, but like I've said, most likely I'll be doing a lot of filming now, and it's all gonna be, so I'm gonna be sort of releasing it sort of springtime. So then that gives me a little bit of a break. Instead of keep doing it and like, uploading it straight away, at least I've got a pack or like a file what I can just stick one up one week and then one the next week so yeah you will see more videos of me fishing and I will be fishing with other people it's just trying to get the time to have a social with people is quite hard because everyone works and I work and it's just trying to get well you, you all know uh, you know how it is but um, yeah if I don't see you on the bank then message me or something and uh, hopefully you'll click the like button and, but like button and uh, subscribe so Anyway, I'm going to go speak to you soon.